Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today, and I want you to know this is a Robert Kiyosaki alert. Rich Dad Poor Dad predicts Bitcoin will be worth $75,000 in three years. That is quite spectacular because Robert Kiyosaki not only is well known in the world of finance, um, he is best known for being the author of a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. In that book, he describes how his real father, his birth father, was a university professor and was primarily taught all his life and lived uh, that you go out, you you get a good education, and then you get a good job, and that that good job takes care of you. And then he had a very close friend whose dad was an entrepreneur and owned a whole bunch of businesses. And uh, this Robert became very close to this man, and this man taught Robert how to be an entrepreneur. And as a result, he became worth quite a bit of money, and so then he's teaching people the differences between his real dad and what his real dad taught him and what his rich dad taught him in terms of how to make money. And so Robert Kiyosaki is is well known for trying to teach people how to uh, become wealthy. And with him, he's normally very conservative on things. He doesn't, he, he's not like some people out in the the both the stock market and cryptocurrency industries where he's making all kinds of wild and crazy and outrageous claims robert tends to be more conservative and is more um you know not somebody out there on the fringes but more like somebody in the middle he's he tends to be somebody that's more in the middle ground uh more you know, not not saying things are going to go in the in the in the down the tube, but also not saying things that are going to you know that the world's going to be fantastic. And so he tends to to steer down the middle lane. And so for him to come out and say he thinks Bitcoin is going to be worth seventy five thousand dollars in the next three years is actually um, something to take notice of. So I took notice and decided to make that the featured article of today's video. In today's video, we're also going to cover BitMEX faces lawsuit for alleged racketeering and extensive illicit activities. BitMEX is one of the bigger exchanges out there, and the BitMEX exchange is famous for offering leveraged cryptocurrency accounts where you can take whatever money you've funded into your cryptocurrency account or whatever cryptocurrency you have and leverage it up to a hundred times. So if you had a thousand dollars in there, you could actually control $100,000 worth of Bitcoin. Um, And then Bitcoin is about to paint two bullish golden crosses. And those golden crosses look like they're going to happen this week as Bitcoin eyes 10.5 thousand. And then finally, as I already mentioned, Robert Kiyosaki predicts Bitcoin will be worth $75,000 in three years. We'll take a deeper dive into that. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. It helps us a lot. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. As always with cryptocurrency, it involves substantial risk. Understand the risk before you invest. Now, if you invested $1,000 in Bitcoin and three years later sold it, how much money would you make? If you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin on January 1, 2017, that's just before, that's that's months uh, before it hit the all-time high of $20,000 in December of 2017, and you held it for three years and sold it on December 31st, 2019, it was way below the $20,000 high at that particular point, you would have actually made with your $1,000, you would have earned $7,206, or the $1,000 investment would be worth $7,206 at that point. So I'll leave these numbers here. You can pause the video if you like. 
and dig into uh, other years other than that first year. So Bitcoin is currently at $9,637. It's 646 a.m. Central Standard Time on May 18th. And you can see that for the most part, the cryptocurrency market is in the green. Now, BitMEX lawsuits for alleged racketeering and extensive illicit activity. BitMEX, one of the world's largest crypto derivative exchanges, has been accused in court of being deliberately designed from the ground up to facilitate a myriad of illegal activities. The allegations were made in a major new lawsuit filed by BMA LLC in the United States District Court of the Northern District of California on May 16th. The plaintiff accuses BitMEX parent company HDR Global Trading and the exchange's top executives of engaging in or abating multiple crimes that include racketeering, money laundering, wire fraud, and operating an unlicensed money transmitting business. The lawsuit claims that the defendants have in a brazenly lawless manner engaged in these illegal activities and a host of others whose magnitude is purported to, purported to be truly staggering. So that's quite interesting. Not often do you hear about an exchange, you know, a cryptocurrency exchange being sued, uh, but these are pretty pretty significant claims for this particular lawsuit. BMA LLC claims that despite their rebuttals, BitMEX's executives maintain close connections to the U.S. and Northern District of California. The plaintiff cites several sources allegedly close to the company who have previously disclosed to the media that almost 15% of BitMEX's 2019 trading volume worth roughly $138 billion dollars is attributable to U.S. traders. This means that the exchange's own data allegedly indicates that it has processed an average of $3 billion in money transfers daily without being licensed as a money transmission business in the United States. This represents the record volume for such unlawful activity in the entire history of the monetary regulation in the United States, the plaintiff claims. So, um, this is this could have significant impact for a lot of people. If you use the BitMEX exchange, it could have a significant impact because that could all of this lawsuit and the legal proceedings that are happening here could put that exchange at risk. Um, And always, uh, you may or may not have heard the phrase, not your keys, not your coin, but when you deposit your cryptocurrency onto an exchange similar to BitMEX or actually BitMEX, you don't have the private keys to that cryptocurrency. BitMEX has the private keys to that cryptocurrency. You've literally deposited your crypto into BitMEX's exchange and then you're trusting BitMEX to to properly take care of your cryptocurrency. And so that's always a risky thing to do. Uh, You may use an exchange to trade cryptocurrency, but as soon as the trade is over, it's always a best practice to remove your cryptocurrency from the exchange and store it in a hardware wallet. Now with BitMEX, because they're doing leveraged trading, you can't remove it in order to maintain a leveraged position. In other words, you can take $1,000 on BitMEX and buy $100,000 worth of Bitcoin, but they're not going to let you transfer $100,000 worth of Bitcoin into your hardware wallet. Um, And so in order for you to make a transfer into your hardware wallet, you can only transfer what you own without leverage. That would be the $1,000. So um, if you have any kind of finances, (coughs) whether it's crack, cash or cryptocurrency, uh, excuse me for the cough, on the BitMEX exchange, be very, very cautious and be ready to pull the trigger to withdraw your funds and deposit it into a hardware wallet or some other wallet with little or no notice. Um, There's been uh, thousands and thousands of cases where people have lost all of their cryptocurrency on various exchanges for various reasons. So, 
Uh, just wanted to kind of give you a heads up so that people can be prepared and take appropriate action. Bitcoin to paint two bullish golden crosses this week as it eyes a $10,500 close. So Bitcoin is looking to form two historical bullish golden cross patterns this week. Traders use the indicators as a signal to gauge the cryptocurrency's direction. The next breakout could see Bitcoin closing at or above 10,500, its year-to-date high. For Bitcoin analysts, 10,500 is a crucial resistance level. And that's really true because Bitcoin over the last several months has approached the $10,000 mark and then fell from it. Um, A big reason why that's been occurring is because there are some very, very large orders sitting at that 10,000, right around that $10,000 price range. And so as soon as it hits that $10,000 price range, those orders start getting fulfilled. And when you've got uh, millions of dollars of orders selling Bitcoin at the $10,000 price, um, it prevents the high price from, or prevents the cryptocurrency from getting a higher price because you're selling all of those orders all those sell orders are getting uh, enacted as it approaches that value. So this week, Bitcoin could form two extremely bullish patterns, a golden cross on its daily chart and a similar crossover on its daily MACD, a trend following momentum indicator. Both indicators have historically influenced Bitcoin traders to open new upside positions. Bitcoin's daily chart term, uh, short-term moving average is looking close above its long-term moving average for the first time in three months. A positive development for investors betting on cryptocurrencies long-term upside move. Bitcoin had surged by circa 73% between bottoming out near 3,200 in December 2018 until the golden cross formation of April 21st. And so last year, in 2019, Bitcoin hit a low of 3,200 and then rallied from that low um, up to a 73% gain into April 21st. And it was on April 21st that a golden cross hit. So up to this point, it had seen a 73% gain as it approached here. And then as it went past the golden cross, you can see that these two lines, this is the 50 day moving average and this is the 200 day moving average. They started gaining more and more separation which indicates that the the value is moving faster. So the bigger the distance between these two lines, the faster in the upward direction cryptocurrency is moving. And then as the lines get closer and closer together, it's either heading down or it's heading sideways or you know it, it's just not going up nearly as fast as these two lines get closer and closer together. And so this uh, golden cross on the 50-day and the 200-day moving average historically in the past has always been a very, very strong indicator. And in this particular situation back in uh, uh, 2019, last year, when the golden cross happened, Bitcoin uh, rallied 161% all the way up to the $14,000 price, which was happening right here is where it hit $14,000. So that would have been a great time to sell if you were invested at that particular moment in time and watching the charts. So one of the things about the charts and the things like 50-day moving averages and 200-day moving averages is they help you get an idea of what is this what is the direction what is the trend of uh, uh, bitcoin at that particular moment in history so our final article we're going to talk about robert kiyosaki predicting bitcoin will be worth seventy five thousand dollars in three years robert kiyosaki businessman and best-selling author of the book rich dad poor dad has taken to twitter once again to proclaim his bullish position on bitcoin his prognosis Bitcoin's price is heading to $75,000 in three years. In a May 16th tweet, Kiyosaki states that his fear of of a dying economy has led him to purchase more of three assets that he 
ostensibly considers valuable outside of the traditional financial system. So Robert is concerned about a continued problem in the financial system with stocks and bonds and other business assets or business-related assets. Um, and so he started to invest in gold, silver, and Bitcoin. The author tweets, the author's tweet outlines just how valuable he thinks each asset will be in the coming years. He reveals, bought more gold, silver, Bitcoin. Gold currently at 1700 predict 3000 in one year. Silver currently at $17, predict $40 in five years. Bitcoin currently at 9800 predict 75000 in three years. By the numbers, this prediction reflects an expected yearly increase of approximately 76% for gold, 19% for silver, and 97% for Bitcoin. This indicates that at least by Kiyosaki's reckoning, Bitcoin has the most favorable profit potential out of the three. So that's our news today. How can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? Please leave them in the comment section below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And do me a favor, have a fantastic day.